Does the show look too over rehearsed at this point? <laughs> okay, good. All right. <laughs> Tell everyone, what is your name? Leslie. Leslie, have a round of applause for Leslie! <laughs> You're Stuart's neighbor. I think that's okay. Yeah. I think we can handle that. You're Stuart's neighbor. That's fine. Leslie, where's home for you? Green Bay. Wisconsin? Green Bay, Wisconsin! Yeah. Yeah. Excelente! Now, have you ever wanted to be a magician? No. Perfect. <laughs> Me neither. It's just the way it works out. All right, now. We're going to do a, a magic trick very similar to the ripping up, putting the paper back together, except this is going to be done with tissue papers. Okay, I got two there. I got a green piece and a black piece like that. Okay, just separate them like that. Okay, good. Were you, were you ever a cheerleader? <laughs> lean to the left, lean to the right, stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Fricker, fricker, firecrackers, just boom, ba. Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Very natural. Okay. Now we're going to try something here a little bit different. We're going to ask you to rip up the paper, and we're going to make something out of the paper. Go ahead and rip up the paper. We're going to make something out of the paper. Okay, rip up the paper. Okay. It's, yeah, that's ripping down the paper. It's ripping down the paper. I'm gonna rip up the paper. No, I'm kidding. Just, just okay, seriously, just gonna, just gonna rip up the paper. We're gonna make something right here. All right, what'd you make? It's a mess. It's a mess. That's all right. No, no, that's a mess. That's okay. We can put these pieces together now. Tomorrow uh, in Panama, it's gonna be very hot. It's gonna be very hot there in the sun in Panama. So I want you to say the words: hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. And yes, believe it or not, it has now transformed the pieces of paper into a fantastic, yes, Panama Sun hat. That is excellent. You want to help out with one more? All right, stand back over here. I'm just going to move the uh, props here for a second. I do all my own scene shifting. Not afraid of work. All right. I will stand there on the trap door. Okay, got one coming down. All right, go down. Are you, are you familiar with the Heineken maneuver? Heimlich. Heimlich maneuver. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stand in front of you, and I want you to do the Heimlich maneuver. Are you familiar with the concept of channeling? Not changing the channels, but j just relax. Okay, that's, that's a microphone. All right, now. <laughs> It is a microphone. Okay. Now, now, what's going to happen, very simply, I, I, I'm going to place my hands down by my sides, okay? And now your hands are going to become my hands. Do you understand? Okay, give me the big okay symbol if you understand. Okay. Now, give me the okay symbol on the other side. Okay. Now, the double thumbs up. Hey. All right, let me tell you about my day in Aruba. I woke up, I was really tired, I was yawning. <laughs> I was yawning. Oh. I normally move my mouth. I normally cover my mouth when I yawn. Oh, oh, oh. See, your, your hands are going to be my hands. So if I if I were to yawn, I was to yawn. I, was, oh, oh, oh. And I yawned to the other side. Oh, oh, oh. And a big stretch, big stretch, big stretch, big stretch, big stretch. Yes. I decided to go out for a jog, went out for a jog, I was jogging, I was jogging, I normally move my arms when I jog, I was jogging, yeah, I was jogging, I was jogging, I was jogging. I was jogging. I left, I saw JJ at the cruise director, I waved, hey, hey, JJ, I waved, hey, hey, both ways, okay, very good, kept jogging, kept jogging, kept jogging, trying to move my arms, but I couldn't, they were frozen solid, no, yeah, I was jogging, I was my right, I saw the captain, I saluted, I saluted, I saluted, good job, all right. I'm jogging, my arms are getting shorter as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I got tired of jogging, so I fly down to taxi. Taxi, taxi, taxi. Ooh, taxi boy. Come over here with your big yellow cab. Yes. I got in that taxi cab. Oh, it was hot. It was hot in that taxi. I fanned myself. I fanned myself. Both fans, both fans. I had the whole fan glow. <laughs> it smelled like pickles. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> I rolled down the window, I rolled down the window, I rolled down the window, I rolled down the electric, 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 electric. <laughs> I got tired of being in that taxi cab, so I had to drop me off at a bar. I'm not in the bar yet, no. I, I pushed the doors open the bar, I pushed the doors open. <laughs> Apparently it was in the Old West. <laughs> I said to the bartender, one beer please, one beer. One beer, not two. One. I said one beer. Oh, good choice of fingers. One beer, not two. One, not two. 
One, not two. Not one. You <laughs> was trying to give me three beers. I popped the top on the first beer. I popped the top. I popped the top on the one-handed. That's just kind of man that I am. Yes, I, I had a beer in each hand. I had a beer in each hand. I drank the first beer. I drank the second beer. Of course, after drinking all that beer, I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I get your hat. Come forward, take another bow! <laughs> Put your hat on! There she goes! You got it? There we go, thank you so much! Let's hear it for her, come on everybody, thank you so much! Let's hear it for her, come on! <laughs> Independence Day, outside of New Jack City, near Jurassic Park, in a forest. <laughs> Gump was my name. <laughs> Mommy dearest, named Rosemary, was a pretty woman. I was Rosemary's baby. <laughs> a problem child. A hellraiser. Regular nightmare on Elm Street. I was off and left, home alone, while my parents went to the cabaret, the Baghdad Cafe, the Cotton Club, to eat Mystic Pizza and watch the Mambo Kings play all that jazz. For dinner, we opened our jaws to have meatballs in duck soup with fried green tomatoes. <laughs> Talk about grease. I want to change my name to Damien. I'm sort of a psycho. It was a bad omen. Finally, I had to tell her, Mom, the babysitter's dead. <laughs> she became a rebel out of cause. Reckless, footloose, easy rider. A quiet man with true grit. I wanted to shine to be a top gun on those days of thunder with a few good men. I had all the right moves. It was risky business. It was far and away. What I needed was the color of money. That was seven Tom Cruise movies in a row. <laughs> Apparently that's enough. Then I realized money would only bring me misery. You know, the crying game. What I really needed was endless love. I always had a love story with my imaginary friend Harvey, but I needed something more. The sting. You know, the scent of a woman. A little romance. I was desperate.